Good morning, everyone. My name is Alexis Benitez. I'm going to talk about um, the company Lime for information management and research. So uh, the company we choose is Lime, and I'm going to be talking about database management systems for that company. How do they use it, and how do they take advantage of those systems within the company? So to start, I'm going to be talking about what is the concept of data management. So it's a system or platform that is used to basically uh, access the data in a database, but also modify it and update it. So with those systems, we can uh, easily access with a client and a server to the information that we want. So um, just to have a little background of how do they work. This is the database management system. Here's the database and an example of one table. That's just one table. A database is a group of um, many of them, all connected by ID. So uh, through an app or a client, we use um, APIs to access the database management who retrieves the information from the database where all these tables are located and they, they, they bring the information or these apps can also be other databases connected to other systems and uh, they use these engines to connect all uh, all of them to each other so um, before databases there was a file system management with those big boxes with the drawers and the <coughs> paper files to access, so one of the items we are describing in the project is what are the problems for this type of um, storage. So I put four um, items. The first one is safety. So um, these systems are very easy to hack since uh, you only need a key or not even that to access the information. Um, of course, they are not <laughs> encrypted at all. Um, also, they are hard to back up because you cannot uh, have a easy copy of that. You have to write it or print it again, which brings uh, another problem that is um, redundancy. I'm going to be talking about that. And the third problem with safety is that it's centralized. So if uh, an accident happens, uh, there's a fire or something in the place where these physical um, files are located, we lose all the information. The second item is uh, coordination. So uh, in order to access the information, it's much harder to do because we don't have a proper method to access to it, just physically. So we have searching issues. And of course, we have lack of coordination because if many people try to access the same information for, let's say, a project or something that they need to achieve, that would be a really, really, really difficult task. Um, the third point is availability. So since the information is not available straight away, you need to search for it, and that takes time, and of course, um, a lot of effort. You have a process delays. In order to achieve maybe due, um, due dates or uh, timelines, you need to um, access information much faster and with files is incredibly slower. Um, the other item is a data protection with uh, regarding availability, which is about um, protecting the data, the integrity, and all the information that we access. And the last point is redundancy. That means that uh, we can have the same information repeated in many places. And if we want to update that information, we should have to update it on every single place. So we have to uh, put a lot of extra effort on synchronizing all that information to have a, another file to record where all this information is and in order to update one and update the rest at the same time. So the more information we have replicated, the harder it is to uh, keep our integration. So um, the other point is uh, issues that was issues updating. The other point is uh, storage access. Access, sorry. Um, so that is, if we want to repeat the information, make it redundant in order to be more accessible, 
we not only have to worry about um, updating the information in the same places, but also we have a lot of space that all, that that information occupies. And of course, it's harder to get integrity for the same I was saying before that um, you need to repeat the information and the human error increases. So um, now I'm going to be talking about data management at LINE. How do they manage the information? So um, the scooter company, the scooter rental, is something that is changing all the time because people is using during a couple of minutes, or maybe an hour, the scooter and then leaving it in another place and another person is taking it. So there's a high volume of information. They have over 25 million scooter units connected to the internet and internal and network. So they need to uh, be really fast with the data management in order to uh, provide the proper information to clients. Uh, so in order to achieve this, they both share the data and enhance the safety sy systems in real time. They are using Amazon Kinesis, I'm coming there in a minute. So basically they need to um, keep all the information integrated in real time and it has to be really fast and scalable because they need to um, uh, provide, as I said, the proper information to customers in order to access to the scooters. Um, reloading. So Lime has an on-demand network of staff who charge those scooters um, called choosers. So the choosers are the people who go uh, to the physical place and charge the batteries of the scooters. And that's also um, an information that has to be provided to the database management because they need to know how charged the scooters are in order to um, indicate to the choosers that there are more devices to access. For all of this, uh, oh, for, for all of this, for all of this, um, Lime is using the Amazon Kinesis uh, platform, which is an Amazon uh, technology that use, uh, helps Lime to keep all the information updated in real time. So uh, going now to the business model related to data management. Sorry. Uh, databases uh, at line. So I'm going to be talking about performance and decision making. In order to perform properly, they um, need to have more visibility. That is that the information has to be accessible very fast. Um, they also need uh, more stability. That is. Um, the information has to be consistent and stable. And also they need uh, scalability, which is, uh, I think, the most important point here, because since the company is growing exponentially and changing scooters all the time, decreasing in some regions, increasing in some others, they need, uh, to, need, they need to be scalable to uh, quickly update their size and adapt quickly without having to buy new hardware to uh, hold that um, amount of information. That's why they choose Amazon in order to um, update the databases sizes on the cloud and not with hardware. So um, one of the last points is recommended database software for Lime. After researching a bit, I found that uh, Amazon Redshift is the best option. They are offering a cloud data warehouse uh, system, which is the warehouse is a place where the businesses store all the information once it's clear and organized. So the line company needs to have all this information um, updated, and for that, they uh, have they are increasing the information all the time. So the warehouse, which is increasing with time, every time, uh, needs to be on the cloud. As I said before, scalability. With cloud data warehouse, you can increase the size of your database without any problem. 
And the last point is fast query, meaning that you can uh, access the information. The queries are the um, sentences of code you write to access to uh, specific information within the database. So one of the characteristics of, uh, of features of Amazon Redshift is that you can access the information uh, really, really fast. Thank you. Thank you.